This is a Next.js app deployed to amplify hosting. And I'd like to show off SSR, SSG, and ISR respectively, and how one offers a better solution over the others. On this page, we're rendering server side. If I create a new post on the back end, I have to reload the page to receive that new post. It gets rendered here. I can create more posts and they will get created on the back end. We don't see them until we reload. This is a huge advantage because we can fetch the latest content and all that's delivered to the user is static HTML with the content embedded. Next, SSG is a strategy used during build time. This, is this, this page goes against the API and only does so at build time. And as you can see at this build time, there were four posts. If I refresh this, even though we've added eight posts recently, it does not change. What would happen is that the a new deploy would take would need to take place. So SSG is a strategy that can be used for content that does not update frequently. In addition, you could add a subscription that would fetch the latest posts since when this was generated. So you've seen SSR, where the data comes down with the page and stays up to date on reload. You've seen SSG, where there's a subscription that's necessary to keep the real-time data in sync with the static data from build time. The third option in Next.js is this is ISR, which is incremental static regeneration. And as you can see, there's a timestamp here on this page from when the initial build happened for this deploy. But there is a uh, there is a bit of uh, there an attribute that can be added called revalidate, and what that does is revalidate the cache every second in this case. So if I were to refresh, I'll get a timestamp of right now, and as you can see, this is seven seconds, and I refresh again, and I've got I'm, I'm able to get a new timestamp each time. So what this does is give us the best of static generation, I'm sorry, server generation and static generation. So now let's look at our API. Uh, 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 let's look at a real example. So this um, timestamp uh, was when no records were in the database. Um, so if I refresh, um, it's still static. It's still serving me the static version from what that is, but there is a timer that's set with the revalidate. So 10 seconds from now, that timer will expire and we'll pull the fresh uh, data server side. So if I refresh now, you can see that we get all of the posts that were added. If I go back to the server, uh, if I go back and create a new post, now there's nine, um, you can see that uh, it's not yet been re-rendered, so the, the timer starts when we load the page. And in a few moments, or in a few seconds, we'll be able to refresh. That timestamp will change, and we'll now have nine records. So that's the difference between ISR, SSG, and SSR.